Hi yogis, my name is Michelle and this is an all levels yoga class. So um, we'll be just doing basic yoga and just keeping in mind that we're here in a non-judgmental environment and we're here to move the energy through our bodies. So if you would just come to an easy seat and then find a mat or a bolster or even a block. And I'm just going to have everyone start out in Shavasana with the block or mat or bolster about mid-back coming up through the shoulders and then even if you want a second block to extend and go ahead and just find yourself in a Shavasana here with the back supported, the shoulders supported, the head supported and then the legs can either go long or you can have them in Siddhavada Kanasana, also butterfly pose. So as you're laying down, just go ahead and find some space in the chest, relaxing the jaw. Find your arms out at your sides. Thanks, Dan. 
in child's pose. Both toes will be touching in the back. Big toes touching, pushing back. Five in your child's pose. Belly is soft, chest is soft. You can come to your chin. You can come to your forehead. Arms extended long in front of you. Fingers stretching to the top of the mat. Find your breath here. Belly is soft.
pelvis, take your time. Coming down to the ground. And then we're going to do an open wing pose here. So we'll just go ahead and take the right arm out to the side of the right shoulder. And then we'll take the left fingertips and toes and just push your way up and over to an open wing pose on the right. Adjust any tissue that you need to get out of the way. And then come back behind you with your toe and even find a mudra. You can play with your mudras here. And then let the head come down. Breathe into it. Find your breath. Notice where you're clenching any tension. Release it and let it go. One more. Kiss the mat, find your breath, and we're going to get ready and go ahead and do that on the left hand side. So we'll take our left arm nice and extended past the left shoulder here. Kiss your mat, and then push up with your right fingertips and the right toes. Adjust your breast tissue, roll over. Find an open hip, find an open wing behind you. And then see if you can let the head come down and rest. And breathe. Notice where you're clenching. Breathe through any discomfort. Extra breath to that shoulder blade. And on the next inhale, just letting go of the right side to come back down to the floor. Inhaling, exhaling, coming through, kissing the mat. And breathe. When you're ready, we're going to zip up our legs, make a nice long tail. Take both feet together, point the toes. Go ahead and find your pelvic bones on the floor. And then when you're ready, take both hands to the sides of the breast, palms on the floor, spring your fingers spread wide, and make sure those elbows are tucked into the sides like little cricket legs. And so when you're ready, we're going to have a cobra here. We're going to inhale, peeling the chest up, using the legs and the lower back. Inhale. Cobra. Exhale, let it down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, blow it out. One more cobra here, your best and final. Open the chest. Exhale it down. Finding your breath. And when you're ready, we're going to come through cobra and push up through up dog. So on the inhale, rising up, pulling up the chest, and then pushing through the palms, pushing through the arms. Up dog. Exhale, elbows up the sides, all the way down. Take your time. Adjust yourself. Inhale. And pushing through cobra, up dog. Look up at the ceiling if you can. Exhale it down. One more up dog. Inhale, concentrate. Open the chest. Push up through the palms, through the arms. Exhale, bring it down, shoulders at your side. Find your breath, yogis. And when you're ready, you can just let the legs just loosen a bit. And then we're going to raise our chest up and find our forearms in front of our chest, elbows right in front of the chest. And then go ahead and just kind of wiggle and find your pelvic bones here. Open the chest, let the shoulders come down, ground down through the forearms, and let's get ready for some sphinx pose. And so when you find those forearms grounding down, find the palms, push away. You can even use your feet, push away. And just let the heart open, let the chest open. Find the belly moving up and down. Exhale. Open your heart a bit more. Exhale it all down. 
exhale it down, go ahead and let the arms go behind you. Rest the left side of your face. Total relaxation here, just take a break. It's a big heart opener, let it go. And then kiss your mat. And take the right side of your face to the ground. Relax and let the shoulders just drape forward. Take your time. And breathe. And when you're ready, take your face back to the mat, kiss your mat, and then we're going to find ourselves in a bow pose. And so with bow pose, we'll just take the right foot up toward the ceiling, bending the right knee, and then just come up on your belly and see if you can find your right foot. And just wherever you're comfortable here, maybe today you're reaching toward that foot. Okay, so wherever you are today, just take the foot or reach towards the foot. And then go ahead and bend the left, take up the left in your hands, open the chest, roll the shoulders back. Find the grip that's comfortable for you, and then we're going to rise up on the belly. And so on the inhale, we peel up the chest just like we did before. We lift the knees up and just go gently into this first bow pose. You're not going to want to go too hard. Breathe into it. Rest on the belly. One more. Exhale, let it all go. Let it all go. Let the shoulders drape. Left side of the face to the mat. Your breath. Exhale. Center. And then find the right side of your face to the mat. Shoulders straight. Find your breath. And then we'll come back to center with our face and find bow one more time. So bring the knees together. Bend the knees and see if you can go ahead and take both feet. Open your shoulders, roll them back, find a nice grip. And then when you're ready on the inhale, we'll push into the hands and find your bow pose. Resting on the tummy, big back bend here, open the heart. Breathe, and one more breath. And exhale it all down. And then let's do our next stretches again at your own pace. Taking your time. Resting on the left. And resting on the right. Finding your breath. And breathe. Let's come back to center. And then when you're ready, we're just going to push our bodies up through up dog, and we're going to find a half pigeon on the right hand side. So take your palms to the floor, push up through the knees, push up, and then go ahead and take the right knee to the right wrist for half pigeon pose. So in half pigeon, eventually we practice to have the shin to the front of the mat, but wherever you are today, you want to open the hip, scoot the left leg back behind you. I like to come up on my fingertips also. If you want some more space, you can use your blocks. Not forcing anything. And then we just inhale. And then go ahead and scoop. Find any adjustments that you need. So I like to use the block under the hip. And now just find your own breath and vision here. Breathe through any discomfort. Notice where you're clenching. And when you're ready, just see if you can come down a bit. Come down to the forearms. Maybe use your blocks. Rest down over and drape over that line. Back leg is straight. Just imagine the breath coming through the thigh, through the knee. Same way we can. Taking your time. And if you're using 
fox foot, move them out of the way. Go ahead and ground down through your palms. Curl the left toes under. Push the right leg back. And we're going to go ahead and just take the left knee to the left wrist. And we'll do our left side for pigeon taking your time. Scooting the right leg back. Coming up on the fingertips. And just see what space that creates in your hip here. If you need a block, do not force yourself down in this position. You want it to be very comfortable. And then we work toward our edge. blocks if you need them. Just lower down to the forearm and see how that feels. Let that hip go. You may have a little tension on it and drawing it in to protect yourself. Let it go. Breathe through it, draping down with the shoulders and head draped down. Visualizing the breath now. Send the breath from the thigh to the knee, to the shin, through the foot, back up through the ankle, back to the calf. Back in the knee, up through the thigh again. Just a beautiful movement of energy and breath. One more breath. Exhaling it all out. Rising up gently and slowly, just like how you came in. Rising up. And taking your time to ground down through your thighs. Roll the right toes under. Find your strength. Push the left leg back. Have a nice plank here. Pull the lower abdominals up and in. You can do it. Breathe. Plank and knee on your knees. And then when you're ready, everyone drop down to your knees and we'll come to a tabletop position here. Find your breath. Maybe give yourself a little neck roll side to side. Find your tabletop nice and square. And when you're ready, take the right hand out forward, palm facing the side wall, left leg back and point. Make a nice flat plane with your body. Make sure your neck is nice and straight, lower abdominals up and in, point the toe, reach, find the breath, and one more, and on the next one, let's bring the knee to elbow, and out, knee to elbow, and out, and just one more, knee to elbow. Find yourselves back in tabletop. Shake it out. Let that side go. <sighs> when you're ready, ground down. Take the left arm out, palm facing the side, nice and straight. Much intention here. Take the right leg back, point the toe. Find your breath. <sighs> Breathe through it. And then when you're ready, let's take the elbow to knee. Dog. So take both palms to the floor, fingers spread wide, come off your knees by rolling the toes under, downward facing dog, push away. Find your breath, pedal out. Go ahead and move the knees back and forth, let the hips go side to side. And then notice the triceps and see if they're turning inward toward the ears. Arms nice and straight, chest is open. Forehead is moving toward the thighs and knees. Finding your breath. And we'll find five breaths here in downward facing dog. On your own. Move your breath. And when you're ready, find stillness. And then we'll take the 
the right hand to the outside of the left leg. It could be on the ankle, the shin, the calf, the thigh, wherever feels comfortable for you. Hold it strong. You can do it. Twist. Three, right it down, dog. Hold it up, dog, hold it up, in. And then take the right hand back to the back. Find your breath. Push deeper, push your forehead to the thigh. And on your next inhale, just go ahead and take the left hand to the outside of the right leg, wherever you are today. Find it. Notice your arms, notice your abdominals. Use your pelvic floor up and in. And when you're ready, take the left hand down, back to downward facing dog and pedal it out. Find stillness, bend your knees, come to your toes, look to your hands, step to your hands, forward fold. Exhale, fold into those legs, rest your belly on the thigh, micro bend in the knees, if that feels better, pull it in. Inhale, half lift, fingers graze the shins, chest forward, back is flat. Exhale, fold, pull it in. When you're ready, just let the shoulders just drape down and grab both your elbows with your palms. And let's just set rock side to side, make a bigger stance if you need it. And we're doing ragdoll here. Let it go. Switch the grip of your elbows. Side to side, whatever feels good for you. And then just go ahead and find stillness in center and let yourself hit, hang even heavier. Let the arms and the neck and the shoulders and the head just, just have double grab of gravity here and just hang down. Notice how the shoulders open with every breath. Release your grip and go ahead and tuck both hands under your feet. And so for Gorilla, we'll have the toes touching our wrist with the hands tucked right under your feet. And so the balls of your feet are now in the palms. So see if you can adjust your weight and trust yourself to stand on the palm of your hand. And then let the shoulders drape or let the head hang heavy. And then find your gorilla pose here. And even if you want to move side to side, let that feel good. And breathe. And then release on the hands. Let's go ahead and just do one more forward fold, pull yourself in. Let's reverse one back up, push through all corners of your feet, through all parts of your legs, rainbow the arms up overhead, hands overhead, through prayer center. Find your Tadasana, feet together. And breathe. And so palms facing forward, chest nice and open and wide. Shoulders rolling down your back, engaging through the forward of your feet, all parts of your legs. Zip up the knees, engage your abs, tuck your pelvis, chins parallel to the mat. Widen your stance, inhale the arms up, hands to prayer, and then let's just hinge at the hips, flat back, bow down, bow down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, and guess what? Come up into your chair. And so in our chair, everyone's chair may look different. We want to hip distance apart with our feet, and then coming down, sitting down into your chair. And the hands can be at prayer, but mostly we want the weight of our body and the backs of our legs. You can wiggle your toes, check yourself, see if you can see your toes. That's important. Straight back. Chin parallel to the mat. You've got this. Breathe. And on the next inhale, right hand comes down, back and around. Twist. Back to center. Left arm down, back and around. Twist. Back to center. Finding our chair. And then just go ahead and fold over those tired legs. Fold over and pull it in. And breathe. Inhale, half lift. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, coming up through all parts of the legs. And then let's just go ahead and take the right wrist into the left arm. Pull yourself up, up, out of the hip, and over to the left. Use your abdominals. Keep your shoulders and your hips on the same plane. Inhale into the right side. Exhale. And then back to center. Switching the palm, pulling up the left wrist. Up, 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 out of the pelvic. Over to the left. Check your hips and shoulders. Better to go not too deep so that we can do it properly. Breathing in and out. And then back up to center. And then go ahead and take your hands to prayer. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms. Go ahead and rest your head and your shoulders. Push your pelvic, pelvis forward, and then let's just go ahead and do a baby back into here. Exhale. Breathe into any discomfort. Big heart opener here. One more. And then go ahead and let the arms come down behind you. Go ahead and interlace the fingers behind you. Roll open the shoulders. And then we're going to go ahead and forward fold over those hips, straight back. All the way down, bending the knees if you need it. And then just let the arms go where they want to go. Breathe into it. Opening the shoulders, bend the knees, let the tummy rest on the thighs if that feels good. Let it go. And one more breath. Next inhale, rising up through all the parts of our legs, nice and strong, coming in and up slowly, not to be dizzy. Finding our Tadasana, stepping together, palms facing forward, breathe. Exhale, and on the next inhale, hands to prayer. And let's just go ahead and set an intention for all of our work today. Usually whatever pops into our heart, clearing away things that don't serve us. What do we choose to replace it with? And on the next inhale, inhale the arms up. Hands to prayer. Take a nice big step out to the sides of your mat. We're just going to come straight down into goddess pose. And so grounding down through the, all four corners of your feet. And the feet can be open. Just go ahead and come down into a goddess squat here. Back nice and straight, using the strength of our legs, even the inner parts of our legs, pulling up and in with the pelvic floor, shoulders behind us, drawing down, soften the face, ground down through the feet, you've got this, and breathe, lower abdominals up and in, one more breath, and exhale, rising up. Working the feet back into a nice stance. And then when you're ready, just inhale the arms up. Let's dive back down, forward fold. And then we'll find ourselves in a half lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. And find your breath, pedal it out. Do what feels good for you here. It's your practice.
Find stillness, bend your knees, and look to your toes, and look to your hands. Step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back left, step back right, plank. Plank can be on your knees, lower down, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog, how about roll around on the hips or thighs or let it feel good. And then when you're ready, roll the toes under, push away, downward facing dog.
find your breath, ground down through the right foot. And then we're going to raise up the left knee, push it back. Warrior three. Adjust the left hip, dial it down. Nice capital T with the top of your body. Inhaling and exhaling. And then when you're ready, just take the fingertips down to the floor. I like to use the blocks to give me more space here. And so we use the strength of our tired right leg. Bend the knee if you need to. And then we just take the left foot back. Doesn't have to be high. More importantly, the right forehead moving toward the right thigh. Standing splits. And when you're ready, just take the left foot down to meet the right. Forward fold. Let it go. Let it feel good. Remove the blocks if you have them. Fold in deeper. Pull yourself in deeper. Nice. Feel the shoulder stretch. Inhale, have lift. Exhale, fold. Compression. Massaging the internal organs. Massaging the thyroid. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Ground down. Reverse swan dive up. We'll sit down in your chair. Now find your own chair here. It's a lot of good work, but we want to have nice form to make it work for us. See? And so make sure you can see your feet. Most importantly, your toes, obviously. And then just go ahead and put the weight into the back of your body. Find your breath. And when you're ready, right arm down, back and around. Find a twist. Twist. And then back to center. And then left arm back, down and around. Twist. Back to center. And then on the next inhale, rise up. Fold over those tired legs. Inhale, exhale, pull yourself in. Bring the stands together. Inhale, half lift. Find your breath. Exhale. Plant the hands. Step back left. Step back right. Plank. Even on your knees. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Exhale. Roll the toes under. Downward facing dog. And find your breath. Pedal out. Preparing ourselves for the left side.